What's up, Rube? It's Little Big Robots back. Quick video here. Not quick. I always say that. But um, today I'm going to be talking about something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. That would be uh, some army builders. Army builders are, in case you don't know, uh, figures that you can, um, that are, you know, accessible enough that you can, you know, literally build an army of them for big, great big vista shots of battle or whatever. Um, and um, this is my number two, number four on the list, I should say. Number five, that was a previous video if you want to go back and check that out. Um, this is number four because of just how wonderful it is. Um, and it's called uh, Final Faction. Now, Final Faction, if you don't know, is a toy line created by um, the Dollar Store, or Dollar Tree, I should say. If you've ever heard of, is that a screw there? Yeah, they keep them together by screws. That's fantastic. Uh, if you know you have Dollar General, places like that. We also have Dollar Tree, which is a similar thing. Um, it's great for people who might not be able to afford certain household items, stuff like that. So, um, uh, you know, it's it, you can pick up paper goods and cleaning products and all sorts of stuff. And this is their line of toys they made. When I first heard about this, I went and checked it out. I was like, what is that? And they're really, really good for what they are. They're about they're about a dollar twenty-five kind of ish a pack. So, for example, this is the new Elite line, limited edition. I thought this was cool. Um, it's golden, you know. There's golden bits on it and whatever. Dollar twenty-five, somewhere around that, for, around there for this one. Um, then you've got additional packs of stuff. Tons and tons of these. If my cats don't wreck everything. Tons and tons of these, like additional packs of like add-on weapons. Uh, you've got arm bits that can pop into places. You've got, you've just got weapons. You've got a cat who needs to get out of the shot because he's annoying. So you get uh, weapon packs. A lot of these I haven't opened because I bought maybe two of them each. And I wanted to keep them. Now this was one of my favorite toys of all time. I absolutely adore this dog. I've done a video of this dog. I'll link it in the description. What a great mecha dog with a little mech, with a little dog pop, uh, pilot. Again, about a dollar twenty-seven somewhere around there. There's lore. They have a thing on. Uh, they have like a cartoon online. They have vehicles that you have to assemble and stuff. I've got mine disassembled right now. They're all. I'll link a review to them all. All the other previous reviews for this line in the description. Point being with these guys is that they're so inexpensive, especially for the aliens. I really, really enjoy it for the aliens, the monsters. Um, you get a great deal to make a, a good uh, batch of army, uh, you know, a, a, you know, army units. Um, some of them are painted already with a little bit of dry brushing, as you can see. That's a nice little touch there. Uh, but um, a lot of them you, you'd want to probably do a little priming on and stuff like that. But at the same time, they're so inexpensive, you know, you could really get a bunch of them and just throw them together. And just in a mass like that, they would look really, really cool. This is like a shooter... Uh, toy and you actually have little uh, bullets that go in there that fire. It's very um, Warhammer 40k Gene Stiller slash uh, not Gene Stiller um, What's it called the the bug ones, you know alien that kind of thing you get a basic a bot all of them have a basic five points of articulation nothing crazy but again, these are really, really good for uh, just taking like shots of stuff, pictures, you know. This little sentry unit was great. Um, I don't know if that's the bullet that goes in it, but either way, it's a cool little sentry unit. You could see being able to it's even got the legs are even posable and stuff. You could see giving that a uh, you know a, a nice little um, uh, you know paint of a, a gunmetal gray and setting up ten or twenty of those things, you know and. It's a really, really cool, and also it's a bit scale. Hello, Emmy. Let's go ahead and get you down. No, no, girl. Pew. That's our new kitty, Emmy. Um, but also, you could see uh, using these for almost any scale of stuff. It's a really interesting scale. I mean, you can see here in comparison. I have what is pretty much a 118 scale. I believe it's these little four-inch kind of scale, maybe a little larger. Um, but it could work. It would work totally work with a little turret like that. Then you have your common 125th, 124th scale figures, Joy Toys, uh, um, Hexagear. They could totally work with that. So there's a lot of interesting, really interesting little bits you get in here. Uh, let's see if I can find some more good stuff here. Not only that, you get packs like this. When I was a kid, sorry. When I was a kid, packs like this, I would use minus, I would kind of just chunk the weapons away. But you see this bit here or this bit here? 
looks kind of like a spaceship, doesn't it? So I would use that as a small-scale spaceship, which you could actually see being able to use that as something, you know? So there's lots of neat little add-on packs of stuff that you could use for these or use for something else. That looks like a Gundam part. You know, uh, let's see, more alien bits. See, so you have more uh, alien guns that you can add on. And I believe by that you would want to, I think you can use these guys and pop them into here. Um, this one's not the best because of the paint job, but again, if you gave it a, a little bit of a wash or whatever, you'd have a pretty interesting looking alien. And I think you can throw these on there. I'm not sure. These might just, these might just all be weapons here. So here's a couple other little um, scales to compare it to. Here is your common 112-ish, whatever scale that is. So it doesn't work with everything, but again, the turret would work fine. Even some of the little aliens, if you minus that little pack, you could probably take that, pop that pack right off of there. This one definitely. So you've you've got a lot of little options. Um, you got a lot of options for uh, combining these with other scales and uh, toys that would really work. Uh, this is interesting. I don't, I'm not sure what these parts are for. I'd have to look that. Oh, I think they pop on there. What is that for? Let's see. Oh, he can ride around. Oh, that's very cool. It's like a little, uh, what are those wheel things kids ride nowadays, you know, on the, just two wheels and they put their feet on it and the little hover hoverboard. That's what, that's kind of cool. See, I haven't used a lot of these yet. Um, I'd have to say though, if you do go into a store and you find some of these and there's a, a good stock of them, try not to buy them all out and stuff like that. This, you know, it's, these are meant for, uh, kids who don't quite have <coughs> enough, um, money necessarily to buy the, the latest greatest toys so you know leave, leave some for the kids uh whenever i buy some if i buy one or two at a time i don't buy them all at once i go back and you know i let some more stock come in so this one right here is really cool it's this one here but painted up so even that you could skip that one this is what they're calling a limited edition i don't know if it was more or not but well, that gives you an idea of what it would look like with a little paint you can maybe um throw a little uh, dry brush on that that'll have all those details pop but Again, for a dollar twenty-five, almost fit almost almost any scale you could think of. It could even be a giant for a one-sixty scale or something. So there's a lot of options with something like this that doesn't have any real-life um, comparison. You know, you don't know what size that could be. That could be a hundred foot tall or you know, 16 inches tall, you don't, you, you just don't know. They also had some cool gold ones they put out recently, so you get the same bot here. And then that go, same bot there, but golded up and uh, see-through. I thought that was really interesting. So go check these out if you can. If you're wanting to build an army, or you're wanting to get some, just some cool uh, little bits and bobs for building a nice big uh, vista shot, or you want to have some critters just to build up, you know, like say a scene on your shelf or whatever, this line Final Faction is fantastic. You can buy them also on the the store shelves. I'm store shelves. The uh, website. Why did I say store shelves? I don't know. You can buy them on the website as well, but you have to buy them in quite a bit of bulk. I think like 30 or 40 a piece. Um, but if you want to do that, go for it. So anyway, I thought you guys and gals and everybody else would enjoy that. That's a little bit of a, some more Final Faction for you. One of my favorite lines I've ever reviewed on here, just because it's so accessible and fun and uh, they did a really good job with it. Have a good one, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.